That, folks, is Billy Yates. That is Sherry the Red Guitar. And this is a Red Jones amplifier. That's right. What is a Red Jones amplifier, Billy Yates? Well, hi, I'm Billy Yates. Uh, Red Jones amplification was born uh, out of the creative genius of this guy over here, Todd Flug, who does all of the, uh, the wonderful cabinet work, and myself, who have been, um, who I, I've been tinkering with this stuff for many, many years. Uh, and decided to really strip everything down and build the simplest amplifier possible. And meaning uh, the least amount of components in the signal path and really good high quality components, not, many of, much of which is not available off the shelf. And we make, uh, make our own. <laughs> so, What's in there, man? I don't see any knobs. Well, you got to turn it around to see the knobs. <clears throat> I'm like a woman. Um, <laughs> sorry, had to do that. But <clears throat> basically, you have a volume and a tone. It's kind of like done in the old style from back in the 30s and 40s. But the, the amplifier is, uh, is nestled inside. And uh, it's convertible, meaning that you can swap the power tubes to determine what the output um, wattage of the amp is. In this case, I'm running a pair of Mullard EL37s, which I'm probably getting close to 25 or 30 watts output cathode bias, but I can put a pair of 6v6s in there for that nice sweet sound and um, and get maybe about 12 to 14 watts out of it. So there's a range, you know, you, you can also voice the amp by doing that. And I don't know what else to say that, other than the less is more. Less is more. Can we hear more of your less? And, and let me uh, turn it up a little bit because it, it goes from clean to mean pretty quick. We've got to turn this around like this. This here is our first uh, bad bone. This is basically our T-bone with two shiny pickups in it. They're wider. We call them humbuckers. We make those. And um, this is the first, first version of any LSL guitar with humbuckers in it. We have taken a standard plate bridge and cut it. And um, this pickup, you'll see there's no adjustment screw visible. It's mounted in the lumber. And we've got the very elegant dot. Yeah, I gotta say, that makes it. That, 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 it changes the whole vibe. Any particular inspiration for the dot? Um, no, I, I like dots. And uh, because, because mainly we have the dot scheme on this, this neck thing. So we figured, well, more dots is always better. Or what, what is one more dot? Well, it's, 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 it's one more shared. dot. It yeah. makes a difference between no more dots and more dots. And, and this is named Sherry. A, each and every LSL guitar is named after a, uh, a, a female, a babe. And in this case, Sherry. This is a RC red finish. All of our guitars are, of course, nitro, nitrocellulose lacquer. And they're thin finishes. And this one is RC red, named after our our finished department guy, Robbie Conlas. He got bored one day and I end up with another color. <laughs> so, we make everything in house. We've got, we make our own necks, we hand shape the necks, um, make the bodies, make the pickups, our own saddle spring screws, and um, everything we can make, we do make. And you can see on that pickguard, that's my blood. 
I got a little over over rambunctious playing this guitar the other day. That's pretty gross and pretty cool. It is it is, and I thought you'd appreciate that. And uh, you know, a little DNA never hurt anybody. Exactly. So it's got that on there. Cool. Okay, Lance, I'm gonna ask you first, man. If people want to go uh, find out more about your guitars and your blood type, um, lslinstruments.com, and um, I'm sure you'll enjoy the website where this guitar is not featured. But you can find great dealers all over the world selling these guitars. We're just coming out with it now. And so far, I brought it to the show to figure, see what people thought. And um, it's a yes. Yes. It's beautiful. Now, Billy Yates, I'm going to ask you, too. Where do people go out, uh, go to find out more about your amplification devices? Go to our website, which is www.redjonesamplification.com. Enough said. This has been a good time, but I'm going to leave. This is Charles for PremierGuitar.com. <laughs>